welcome back to Skyrim. Episode 17 here. We're just here in the entrance to the Ratway, where I left off last time, so... Let's... Weapons hot, and let's see if we can find out where Brynjolf is. Know, They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing someone this. there. Oh, Lydia, you get in the way. Okay. I'll take the orcish bow, it's worth 150. I'll take the armor. We don't care about it. Well, I'll take the run. Oh, heck, I'll take it all. Alright, where's the other one? Video, you got arrows sticking out of you. Alright. Nice thing about having an empty inventory to start with. All right, I think we need to go this way anyhow. Okay, yeah. I seem to recall, yeah. And I recall this because I watched Hypno's LP. Very good jump, kid. step back just in time because I realized there was a tripwire here and I should have broken it before passing through. Right. Dingy, nasty, dirty place. And I should be grabbing everything and whatever I didn't get this time around I'll have to come back for later except for the wooden bowls embalming tools this game is big on embalming tools I tell you <laughs> oh. there we go Okay, just grab it all. This is where I came from? No, that wasn't there. Alright. This looks like the direction I need to go anyway. The on compass marker and all. Ah. Uh. Oh. One of the things I hope to do here is increase the lockpicking skill and have less chance of breaking the bloody things. Ah, oh, see what I mean? It's a good thing I've got 50-some of them. They break so blasted easily. Maybe in the same direction, but not quite as far. A little farther. Oh, not good, not good, not good at all. Oh, for crying out loud. And this was supposed to be an easy lock. I've gone through 10 or 12 picks now already. Oh, man. I almost had it. I 
I do not believe this. At least 20 picks now. Finally! Lock picking increased to 28. We'll take the food, salt pile, oh, look. Pickpocket increased to 23. With a skill of 23, I don't think I want to try doing it just yet. And let's go ahead and take the book. A drum. Ah, here we go. Ragged flag, and here we are. Okay, here's our boy over here. Give it up, Brinio. Those days are over. I'm telling you. Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Oh, this was easy. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Deadbeats? They owe our organization not? some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Oh, I'm good at explaining errors. Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Well, how do you want Honestly, to Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. So, we just scared the crap out of them. Okay. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Well, let's have the details. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb, and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Uh-huh, yeah. He's and as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. All right. And Helga. Helga is a devout follower of Debella, and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. Ah. All right. So we've got I'll some be people here when to you're deal done. with. And a little bit of leverage to use on them. So, let's go leverage these people. I'll explain to them the error of their ways. Let's see. Came in that way. We probably need to go out through here. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm guessing this is not the way out. <laughs> All right. Uh, that looks like a trap. Blood stains on the floor. Pressure plate. Lydia, do not step on the pressure plate. If you do, you deserve what you get. Let me guess. Oh, she got by it. How about that? 
I kind of expected her to walk right on it. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take everything. What the heck? Aha. Uh -huh. Bear traps. Please. Really? Bear traps? cooking pot in here oh please I'm a cooking type of person you just don't do that this is not the way to go we we'll have to get back up there or does this lead to something yeah it leads the way I came back Ah, here we go. Lever opens that, and presumably it will stay open. This should head back up to the surface. Alrighty. Now well, we've got waypoint markers up here so let's head for these people and teach them how wrong they were what's this scorched hammer that's not it well one of them's in here the bee and barb okay there was a guy to talk to in here before we talked to the main person people of rifted heed my words the return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your... Blessings of Mara upon you. Nah, I don't want to talk about that Down right your now. flagons filled with your vile liquids. And embrace the teachings Talent of the handmaid Okay, he's the, the guy. Pie. What do you want? You might want to talk some sense into your with girl. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing... She's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Oh, you're right about that. Convince her to pay. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Well, if I do... I'll start with you. All right. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Talon. Oh, Kira, certainly we can come to some All right, sort of here for a pay room up. or something to. No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Oh, well, how about if I go see your family farm? How could you possibly know about? Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Well, pay up and they won't be orphans. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. Turn Enough, straight. Mama. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. Uh, let's follow suit and remove you ourselves from this Just keep the sermons at the oh, temple well, and let us all It would help if peace. I actually found the door that led outside, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm leaving, he said as he stormed into a closet. <laughs> oh, boy. Looks like one's down this way. All right. A pond prawn? Who would pawn a prawn? And you want... Uh, yeah, you want a facelift is what you want. Oh, God. So many of the women in Skyrim are really butt ugly. Have you noticed? Okay, Bercy. Whoops. Funky. So, can I interest you in anything today? Yeah, payment. What? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Simple. You don't pay, bad things happen. Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk. 
and everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection, and you can't even protect yourselves. Oh, trust me, that's not a problem. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Okay, enough of this. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do, so I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. Oh, well, let's see. Fist waving, he said, huh? Stop! That's priceless! Oh, my word. No! Now, you want me to break something else? All right, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold. And leave me in peace. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. One loser taken care of. One loser to go. Alright, what the hell? This way. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. And I went and bumped right into that person, and you that's why it started talking. Okay. It's you. Time to pay up. I know who you are. You've been terrorizing the entire city. Oh, you ain't seen Please. nothing yet. There's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. Okay. Not bad, huh? All right, I get it. It was a deliberately easy quest, but I'll soak it up anyway. You and your honeyed words. All right. Huh? Someone do something. What? Where? Who? Somebody help! Where is the bad guy? I don't see no bad guy. I saw a red dot on the radar for a moment, but they're gone. All right. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Hey, not bad. <clears throat> Jumped all the way across. Okay, let's check in with Bryn Yoff and see what's going on. Just follow the trail of dead bodies. The ragged flagon. You know, this place sort of reminds me of another uh, seedy kind of tavern I read about once. It was called the Vulgar Unicorn. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. that clean Dumping nice. bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. And well done. Money. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Okay. Weak magic potion, solution of health, and a drop of pickpocketing. Cool. What do you got next? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Well, if there's more gold, let's do it. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Practiced, yeah, but I don't have quite that much practice. That's why I'm here. Before we go... What's on your mind? I hear you're not doing too good here. We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, 
and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Suits me for now. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? Lead on, Macduff. Here's hoping you don't walk as slow as everybody else around here. You do. And no, I'm not going to switch off the uh, walk fast option. Now that's going out of the closet. <laughs> or into the closet, I guess. The ragged flag and cistern. Is that anything like a brethren? I know, that was terrible. I'll wait for him, and then I'll go up like this. I won't have to take two two inch steps. Yeah. I'll clean the place out later once they decide they trust me. I suppose we're here to talk to this guy. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Oh, sure. Good. Then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome right. to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Okay, how do I get my cut? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin Mallory and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, cool. And talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Okay, how about Golden Globe? Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. Okay, there's a catch, right? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Okay. Hi. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. And how about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Hmm, okay. All right, how about the details on Golden Glow? Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry, to put it kindly. Uh -huh. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries? Aye. Oh, wonderful. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. Okay. Beehives, what do you want? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, 
Nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Well, flame is my interesting... one of my specialties. Why shouldn't we just level the place? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery, which would cut into her profits. And we don't cut into profits. And she's the pretty big client, I'll bet you. All right, let's just ditch the rest of the conversation. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Neither do I. All right. I guess we're headed this way. Wait a minute. We got another marker going this way, so let's take this one first. This is the one where we go get the armor and talk to people. I'll bet, yeah. Because it heads back in. Here we go. No, well. Talking to Vex. Okay. Wake up. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of the guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. What sort of I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. And why is that? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. And? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Okay. All right. Okay. You ran into trouble in Golden Glow. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Any tips? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. All right. Okay. I'll get to these other questions another time. Don't give up now. There's plenty of loot out there just ripe for the taking. Uh-huh. Your attitude is familiar. You know a chick named Trinity? <laughs> All right. Even if you're one of them, better not make trouble. All right, we gotta talk to this guy. Breed the old fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? I think I know what I'm doing. Lying to my face isn't going to win you any favors with me. I can promise you that. On the other hand, taking some of these extra jobs off my hands, now, that'll get you to the top of my list. Oh, I am a list stopper. Okay, what do you got? See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're going to get along nicely. So... If you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. And this was caused... Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but... I'm going to give it to you straight. Something out there is pissed drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. You know something? I think the others are right. You are completely daft. I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. 
put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Okay. What do you know about Golden Glow? Watch yourself out there. The mercenaries are in Goth Hire to train killers. Just ask our poor little Vex. Already did. Okay. I'll get to these other things another time when I'm ready for Can I give jobs. you a little tip? Take every job you can get, or else you'll end up a beggar. Oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Now, where is the person with the uniform? <clears throat> Anybody up here? Well, what are you? Huh. I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. Now, what the heck are you talking about? I assumed you were here to see me about your face. To have it sculpted into something more artful than nature has bestowed upon you. I happen so, to like my are you face, here as a client? Shall I remake your face? How about if I remake yours first? Ah. Mm -hmm. Ay, ay, ay. A nerve for some people. Assuming my face, my pretty face, needs to be reworked. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Oh, shut up. Doesn't look like much to me. All right, let's check the journal. Uh... Wasn't there... An individual. Okay. There was a person to speak to about a uniform. Thieves Guild armor from Tomilla. Turn that off. Turn miscellaneous on. Turn loud and clear off for a moment. There. Now I know where I'm going. Theoretically. Okay, so much for what I know. Where is your uniform person? Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Through here. Ah, here we go. Yo, wake so up. So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. Well... Okay. My place or yours? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. Oh, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Okay, anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, oh, I've well, been in this gee. business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Oh, of course. All right. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's check out this armor. A bunch of stuff here. Gloves of the Pugilist. Okay. Thieves Guild Armor. Okay. Carrying capacity increased by 20. All right. Pickpocket success 15% better. Lock picking easier. Oh, I'll be right back. Oh, I have picked up a very loud sneeze. Trust me, you're glad I cut out. You may not know it, but you are. Thieves Guild Hood for better prices. I'll take that. With that combined with this, I should do better with business. All right. Gloves is lockpicking. 
boots or pickpocket, and the armor is carrying capacity. 320 now. Great. Now this is good gear. All right. Now, journal and loud and clear. Now let's go visit Golden Glow, assuming I can find my way out without walking into another closet. Uh, no, wait a minute. No, I didn't want the cistern. I wanted the ragged flagon and the exit back out through the ratway. Yo, Lydia. Bye. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Got it. Okay, I'm going to make my way back up to uh, town. And, well, let's see. No, we should just about be there. No, not there. There. Okay, this place needs a better way out and in. And once again, I've gone the wrong direction. Ugh. Needed to go this way. Or did I? Okay, I'll take those guys. Those are like flying ingredients. Ah, here we go. I took a right, a left when I should have took a right. Alright, I will catch up with you at Golden Goal Estate.